Let's discuss Ripple XRP. It's going up 24% in the last 24 hours. Ripple is the second largest cryptocurrency in terms of market cap. Well, wait a second. That's not right. What we're seeing over here is a snapshot from the Wayback Machine of CoinMarketCap. This is what the top cryptocurrencies looked like on the 16th of May 2017. That's interesting, right? Ripple was larger than Ethereum and it was one third of the size of Bitcoin in terms of market cap. Why did I pick this date over here? That's because when we look at the XRP dominance, we had a peak over here. So at that point in time, in the middle of May of 2017, XRP was more than 25%, more than a quarter of all of crypto in terms of market cap. This is very, very different today, right? Now only 1.6% of all of crypto is in XRP. To be fair, also Bitcoin lost some dominance during that time, right? Bitcoin was almost 70% in the middle of May 2017. Now it's only 47%. So a lot of other altcoins have now risen in importance. This is coin market cap today. So a very, very different picture to what we have seen just a few years ago. Now, why do we make this comparison? It's because when I look at cryptocurrencies, I don't focus on the US dollar price because when we just look in terms of US dollars over the very long term, Ripple doesn't look like a very bad investment at all, right? We are looking at a almost 7,000% increase over here. But what really matters is relative performance. What really matters is how is the cryptocurrency stacking up versus the competition? Because you do take on quite a bit of risk with crypto, right? And what we also tend to see is pretty high correlation, as in when the overall market tends to go up, then many altcoins go up as well and vice versa. Thus, instead of looking at the US dollar price, we want to be focusing on what is XRP doing, for example, versus Bitcoin. And that's what we see over here. And it's not that nice of a picture, right? An underperformance of almost 80%. So had you invested in Bitcoin instead of XRP during this time period over here, which by the way starts in July of 2013, you would have made way more money with Bitcoin. And Bitcoin is arguably even less risky than XRP, right? Bitcoin is larger, it's more established, it's got a larger investor base. So taking on more risk should also result in higher returns. That's not what we've seen with XRP. Now we can make an even tougher comparison. We could look at XRP relative to Ethereum. So this is now XRP denominated in ETH tokens. Here, the relative underperformance is a staggering 98%. Now, these kind of comparisons, they are somewhat arbitrary, right? Why compare this to Bitcoin? Why compare this to Ethereum? But there's one comparison that might make more sense, and that's something called total three. What is total three? Total three is the cryptocurrency market cap minus Bitcoin's market cap and minus Ethereum's market cap. So total three is basically the market cap of all the altcoins. Thus, we can now look at what's the market cap of XRP versus the market cap of all of the altcoins. Can XRP, relatively speaking, hold up? And again, not a very pretty picture, a 90% underperformance. Now, where does all of this underperformance come from? Some people argue it's the change in circulating supply or the inflation of the token. When we look at Misari.io, the inflation rate that's stated over here is 28.8%. It's pretty hard to beat the market with such an inflation rate. Now, some people argue that inflation, but there's a very nice article around this. The link is also in the video description, published by Misari describing the circulating supply for XRP and how the sales of the XRP token, they might depress the price. And so I find it rather fascinating that XRP is still number seven in terms of market cap in all of crypto. The story, of course, is fascinating, right? The market that XRP tries to tackle is large. If only a very small fraction of that market can be served, if there's only a little bit of adoption, then the price might go to the moon. But the problem is 
that the inflation of the token seems to not be in line with the adoption, right? If the adoption would be faster than the supply increase, we would actually see an outperformance. But that's not what's appearing over here. And so, of course, you could still try to trade these kind of wicks, right? They're pretty massive. These are 90% moves. We see those several times in the history of XRP. There is sometimes temporarily outperformance. But does it make sense to hold XRP over other cryptocurrencies given this long-term trajectory? I'm not really certain about this. The US dollar chart can really disguise the overall picture. We have to look at relative valuation. We have to look at are we deploying our capital in Bitcoin, Ethereum or any other altcoin or are we deploying it in XRP? And of course, there's the regulatory risk. There is the lawsuit that's going on forever that the SEC also seems to not have an interest in settling. But besides all of that, the main issue is probably inflation. It's probably adoption. It's not necessarily the lawsuit. If the XRP dominance continues to decline, why bet on something like this going up when instead you could simply just go with the safest of the cryptocurrencies, right? You could simply just buy Bitcoin and you still outperform. I think this trend is very likely to continue. I think it's likely that Ripple will not just fall from the second place to the seventh place, but that it will continue to go down. We will see other cryptocurrencies surpassing XRP. We will see how the circulating supply issue over here will continue to put pressure on the overall performance of the asset. But of course, I'm also very open to be convinced otherwise. If you've got a different opinion and you think XRP is going to outperform, so it's not just going to go up in US dollar terms because all of crypto is going up, but you actually think that XRP is going to outperform over the next one, two or three years, then please clearly lay out those arguments in the comments or maybe refer to an article or to another video that explains the reasoning, that explains what went wrong in the last few years and what is now the sudden shift that could turn all of this around. Because if XRP is really, really great, why hasn't it already outperformed? If we do see an outperformance in the future, we should see some kind of a shift, some kind of a very strong reason that will justify that new investors would jump onto this asset. If it's the same story as it has been in the last years, the strength of those arguments is probably not good enough. So feel free to fight me in the comments. I'm very much looking forward to the other side. I want to be convinced to be wrong because in the end, we are looking for the objective truth over here, right? I'm not just making a video to bash something. I also have positive videos on other altcoins. So I'm simply trying to find out what's the best place to deploy capital in. Of course, if you also like these kind of rather critical, but hopefully objective videos, feel free to subscribe because I do publish videos regularly. And in case you've got Telegram and you're not yet part of our 2000 member group, don't hesitate to search for Bitcoin strategy channel within the Telegram app. There's a lot of interesting discussions over there as well. Last but not least, there's also a premium membership of this channel. This can be found in this video. Would be great to see you in that video. And thanks for watching this one. Bye-bye.